All right, I wanted to show you what the finished product looks like. You can see I have it on, and what I did was I, I ran the rubber band around my head, and I put it, like, just beneath my eyes. Now, having glasses helps to hold this in, but the main thing you want to do is seal your nostrils. And then I had the, the loose rubber band that I put around my head and run it along the edge here. And what that will do is seal the sides. So, you know, check the mirror. Make sure you have it so it's sealed so that there's no open gaps for stuff to come in. Now, whether or not this works, I can't say. But I think it's better than not having anything. Um, what it will do is keep you from spreading the virus if you have it. Because when you cough, you're going to cough right into the um, paper towels. And... If other people are coughing around you, hopefully it'll filter out. We've got two layers here. It is disposable because it's made from paper towels. You can throw it away and, um, you know, at the end of each use. I know people are using cloth ones. I think they need to realize they need to wash that each time. Um, and that when you touch the outside of it, you're potentially contaminating yourself and whatever you touch afterwards. I don't think people may be realizing that with these um, these things. So suppose a virus hits, it's on the surface of the, the mask. At that point, you know, you either have to throw it away if it's disposable, or you have to wash it and kill the virus. Because if you go around touching it, and I'm, I'm not talking about these disposable ones, I'm talking about the cloth ones that everyone's making. They need to be cleaned pretty much right after each use, because otherwise, there's potentially viruses all over the outside of it. And you're touching it and touching your plates, your food, whatever you're touching and spreading. So, good luck everyone. I hope you found this tip useful. Hopefully, if you haven't been able to find um, the, the store-bought mask or if you don't want to, you can go ahead and try this to make your own. Um, if, if you find that the tips here rip a little bit, you could put more tape, you know, or go out further. So that... It doesn't rip. Um, my son and I have been using these when we go into the store and then we, we toss it when we're done, you know. And then we wash and clean our hands because we're touching it. Once you touch this, after you've been outside exposed to other people, it, it may be coated with, with virus and bacteria and stuff. So you want to get rid of it right away. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Uh, you're each in my thoughts and prayers. Bye-bye now.